So what drew me to um, practice at Christian Family Solutions is just the belief that I have of how impactful um, faith and religion can be in a person's day-to-day -day life, and that includes um, their spiritual day-to-day well-being. And so my practice up to this point has lacked that integration, and so I'm really excited to be able to work for Christian Family Solutions and be able to bring that one component of, of a person's day-to-day -day life into the healing of mental health. My specialty is in systems, and systems can come in the form of individual therapy, family therapy, or couples therapy. I think it's very important to incorporate influential people into the therapy journey. Um, some of the specialties that I've worked with in the past have been depression and anxiety, as well as behavior disorders. But with trauma-informed care being a very leading topic right now, I've also done some work in trauma and dissociative disorders, including PTSD. When you're doing therapy with someone whose faith is important to them, but you're not bringing that piece into the therapy room, it's almost like a piece of their story is missing. Almost like you're doing a puzzle and you're missing that one piece, you, you can't see how the whole puzzle is completed. Um, it's almost like there's a lack of, of a person's authentic self. So Christian counseling becomes important because you're able to integrate the whole puzzle or the whole person into and along with approaches that have been proven to be effective in resolving problems. As a counselor, I'm a very client-driven um, counselor and I take the time to get to know not only the person's problems but also get to know the person as an individual. Um, I, I want to make sure that uh, we're coming up with goals that are going to be relevant to what the person wants to accomplish. Um, because of this, it brings in an interesting aspect of therapy for me, and that would be that there's not one specific approach, therapy approach, that I use for every single problem because I feel like um, different approaches are going to work better with different problems. And so because of that, I'll use a variety of different therapeutic approaches that have been proven to be successful in treating problems. If you are reluctant to come to therapy, what I would tell you is that it's very understandable because it can be very vulnerable to ask for help. One thing that I can tell you is that in my experience, those that have come and been willing to be vulnerable have walked away with so much more than those that haven't been willing to. The good thing about therapy is that you can walk away at any time. So I would reassure you that you should try it out once or twice and see if it's the right fit for you.